In this video, we're going to integrate StealthWatch Enterprise with SecureX. In order to integrate StealthWatch Enterprise, which is an on-prem solution, we have to add it to the Security Services Exchange. In the SecureX dashboard, click on the Launch button on the left-hand pane to display the Security Services Exchange. I'm going to go ahead and click Login, and my SSO should just take me right in. Once here, I'm going to click on the Cloud Services tab on top, and I'll want to enable the Cisco Threat Response option. Now let's click on the Devices tab on top. I'm going to click the Addition button to add a new device. It's only going to be one device, and I'll set the token to expire in an hour. Once the token is generated, I'll copy it to my clipboard and go to my StealthWatch Management Console. I'll click on the gear icon on the top right-hand side and navigate to the SecureX configuration. Under the SecureX configuration, we'll first complete the device administration by clicking the New Device Registration button. For the cloud region, I'll keep it at North America, and I'll register it using the device token, which I'll paste in here. After saving it, I should see the device registered over in the Security Services Exchange. Let me go ahead and just refresh the devices. And now it's registered. Now let's swing back to the SecureX dashboard and go to Integrations. I'll go ahead and add the StealthWatch Enterprise module. And from the dropdown, I'll choose my SMC before saving. Now let's go to the SecureX dashboard and take a look at the available tiles. If you notice, we actually have nothing here for StealthWatch Enterprise. That's because we're missing part of the configuration. Let's go back to the StealthWatch Management Console and notice that there's a SecureX configuration that we haven't conf completed there. Click on the Add New Configuration button. In order to configure this section, we need to generate an API key in SecureX and share it with our StealthWatch Management Console. Let's swing back to our SecureX dashboard. We'll navigate to Integrations and then API Clients. I'm going to click on the Generate API Client button. I'll name the client StealthWatch, and for the scopes, I'll click Select All. Optionally, you can also put a description for the API in here. I'm going to go ahead and do so. After clicking the Add New Client button, I'll copy the client ID and the password and swing back to my StealthWatch Management Console. I'll paste both in here and click Save. At this point, it should show that it's connected to St SecureX. So let's go back to the SecureX page. I can view my client if I, and see the scopes and delete it if I need to, if I ever need to delete this API client. Let's go back to the dashboard and we'll see if we have options for the StealthWatch Enterprise tiles now. If you don't see the StealthWatch Enterprise tiles at first, click the refresh button and they should appear. I'll go ahead and add my StealthWatch Enterprise tiles to this main dashboard. Since I have some NetFlow traffic going through my StealthWatch, I should see a little bit of information here. Nothing too wild, but we should see some data and events. I'm going to go ahead and resize these tiles and pretty up the dashboard a little. I'll probably speed this part of the recording up. It doesn't really take more than a minute to rearrange everything, but I don't really want to waste a lot of time in the video making you have to watch me resize it. So now I have a fully integrated StealthWatch Enterprise instance with SecureX and the dashboard displaying the, the information the way I like. Thank you so much for watching this video.